Hi guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this um, flip through video. I did a pre-video to this. Hopefully you watched that to know why or where I've been and why I haven't been doing videos or tutorials or all of that stuff. But I'm just starting to get back to that, doing a little bit of that and um, super excited to do it. I'm super excited that you're here. I hope that this will inspire you and maybe help you to not make the same mistakes that I did on this particular lap book journal. Um, I actually did two of these. Um, it was commissioned by a young man um, who is studying entomology. So this journal is entomology and tried not to get too frilly or too fussy, but you know how that goes. You know how it goes. I just end up doing that for some reason. And um, this one's pretty stripped down because this is the one I kind of did a little practice on just because I wanted to try some new materials, new techniques, um, some different things. So like I say, you'll probably learn from these mistakes, <clears throat> hopefully, and hopefully you will be inspired to do some other things. So without further ado, I will set my coffee aside after I have one more sip. Mm. Delish, delish. So this is it. And I'm gonna set these little journals aside because I will be explaining those. And this is so big, once it folds out, it just takes up a lot of room. So um, I just wanna set those kind of out of the way so I can you know, kind of take this apart and show you how this is. So here we go, lap book, it has several folds in it. it has a tassel on this side um, with some beads and tags and um, some antique tags, uh, antique tags, antique beads, some charms, little buggy charms, and some little tiny little tags. Um, not a really big tassel, not my normal, not my normal thing. But <clears throat> anyway, it does have that, um, which comes off easily and sets aside, but um, you can also use it to hold pages open on your journal. I think we're gonna get a little bit of sunshine in here. It's been foggy this morning, so yay for the, for the nice light. Um, so the cover, um, I, there's, okay, so I'll, I'll talk about different materials and please, you know, I know a lot of people, you know, it gets frustrating listening to someone chit chat and chit chat. And I, I don't want to be that person that just never stops talking, but I am. So if that bothers you, please fast forward and, um, you know, no big deal. It, it won't hurt my feelings. If, um, if this is just too much to chat for you or too much explanation. But I know some people are, are, are new. The, the junk journal community has grown so much, it's so exciting. There are so many wonderful new people out there, so many really wonderful tutorials and shares, and it's just so great to see. So anyway, um, I will explain a little bit of the materials that I used in this. This is kind of a double thickness on the on the cover on the back you can kind of see it is it, it's thicker I used a little bit of foam um, oh, I don't know the kids foam stuff and then covered that it makes it kind of soft and kind of um, a little more um, fun to kind of play with so um, there's that um, let's see this comes off it is a um, a little magnifier that this comes off. It's a necklace, but um, it's really more of a charm kind of thing. But I don't know if you can see that. It does magnify, and it is kind of kind of a fun little ad. But I'll put that aside too, so it's not in our way. And on the inside, this folds up um, multiple ways, uh, unfolds multiple ways. Inside of here, that's what I forgot to mention. Inside of here, I've just put a, <clears throat> excuse me, a simple book of tea dyed papers and some graph paper, some craft paper, that sort of thing. And it just is in here with a elastic band, so you can take these in and out, add more, you know, do notes. I did the same type of 
finishing on the inside of this as I did on this and all that is, let me grab them, as well as the cover on this. Um, let's see, I just did, hang on a sec. Old maps, I just used the tissue paper on the old maps to create that old look and then did a lot of inking on that. The book covers are just made from uh, packing material that has been dyed and stressed and um, kind of, uh, yeah, just made to look leather-like. This one is craft paper. This one is actually the Tyvek. I like this look better. The Tyvek, if you've not used Tyvek before, oops, I've got a pile of paper over here. It's just this stuff that you get, I guess I could turn that around. Um, these big mailers, they have fibers in the material. It's really a strong material. So even if you're doing, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. If you're doing um, fabric journals or um, even uh, just with scrapbook paper or whatever, however you're doing it, you can put this material inside and it just gives it a lot of strength. So I like that, but I don't necessarily like the white. So here is, <clears throat> excuse me, a sample of it in kind of a faux leather look, and that's what's on the outside of this. And you can see there's a little seam on the back of here, and part of where it says mail. So this is that. I thought that um, hopefully will inspire you to try some different materials. So on the front cover, we just have some some crazy eyelash trim to keep it kind of buggy and creepy and not too girly and fussy. A little um, leather, faux leather fabric on the side. This is actually um, cardboard that has been distressed and inked and you know torn and all that stuff. Then on the inside, this has multiple flaps and I'll try and try, 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 try to keep it. I didn't tie it tight because I wanted to make it easier and, <laughs> and then I just knocked that out of there because I was trying to make that easier as well. So this just flips open like this and we'll go through this a little bit more so you can see what all the little things do in here. Oh, there's one. I hope the light isn't too reflective because there's a lot of shiny little bits in here and the light is not the best not the best so okay so there's the inside we'll start with let's start with this bit right here this is has a pocket right here with just some index cards in it this is an altered paper clip which i can just i'm going to slide down here um and this just flips open like this and I, I did this so that you could take the paper out of here and replace it um, as, as, you, as you use up the paper. So that's that little book uh, notepad there. On this side, it's just a little breakdown of some bug shapes and their names. Just some fun kind of wonky um, lettering. I used a lot of these in... The journal, the different <laughs> labels, and then also put them in for backup um, in these little pockets. Some labels in these little pockets in the back, which are fabric pockets that are Velcroed in. Um, these can store um, extra little bugs, extra tag um, labels, um, charms. Let's see what else. There's also some of these in here, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, let me think, just labels and different things to um, add to the journal part of it, which is in the four parts that you see over here. So anyway, they're Velcroed for, to get easy in and out. They've just been stitched together. That one's got a bit of a thread on it. And then they have a little embellishment on them, and they have, you will see a lot of these in the journal um, or in the lap book, whatever you want to call it. But these are some freebies from Artie Mays, and bless her sweetness for sharing these. I, I love all the ones that she does, and they're so, so, so wonderful. And 
Yes, Andrea is amazing. If you have not seen any of her tutorials, she's been doing it for a very long time. She's just a pleasure and a joy. And um, yeah, check her out. It's Artie Mays, um, M-A-Z-E. So anyway, this says, to walk in nature is to witness a thousand miracles. So um, you can't really see the Velcro here, but it is here. Right here, I'll put that right back in there. So the same with this one, it's Velcroed on. And, and it's a pocket pin here, a spine. And if you chose not to put, I thought, well, if you chose not to use this um, book in here, um, because it was designed originally and differently, differently, but that was one of my mistakes in here. Like I say, you'll see the mistakes that I made. Um, this should have been wider. I didn't, I did not make, and I also did not um, say, um, give you sizes on this, which let me step over here and see if I can find my ruler. Hmm. Hmm. Where to put it? Why does that always happen? You don't have it when you need it. Well, I'll use this one. This one's just hard to see and it's shiny. So this um, spine ended up being, oops, that's, <laughs> ended up just being right about three inches, which I thought would work with um, the signatures. And like I say, we'll talk about these signatures after a bit, because the signatures turned into little books and not really signatures. So that's why I did the tea dye paper and little things in the smaller ones so that it would fit. And that is, does have a magnet on it, so it kind of holds it in there a little bit and doesn't fall out. So that's that. So if you're going to do a lap book, make sure you make all of these bits wider, much wider. Wherever you're folding, give yourself room to stock here and here and this much wider. Because overall, the whole measurement of this without the other journal on the inside, and if you did, so say we had the other journal inside, which I can put it in there. Let's just do that. Let's just do it. There, sort of, whoops, gotta get it all the way to the back or it really won't close. So see how chunky that is? You can squish it down and it's still, gosh, that, if you really squish it, you can kind of get it at three and a half to three and three quarter inches. Really thick, really big. Um, this, yeah, so it's about, yeah, seven inches deep. It is seven and just, just over seven and a half inches tall. Um, and like I said here, it's about, actually it's really about six and a half wide, tall, um, yeah, seven, yeah, yep, seven and a half. So anyway, that's that. So just keep that in mind if you decide to do a lap book. I'm trying to think who has done some really amazing, amazing things. Gosh, there's so many, in, what's her name? I can't think of it, maybe I will. Anyway. So construction's important, so you don't have to redo things. Like I say, this is the one that I made the mistakes in, so this is the one you get to see. In here, I think I mentioned that I used some handmade paper as well as the maps, and then um, used some tissue over the, the um, maps. Here are the specimen cards. They have a little paper clip um, that holds them in. They're just adorable little paper clips but they're a little hard in all this, but the person, you know, they, I have big hands, so anyway, the, the young man that has this has small hands and he, he can get these in and out easier than I can. But the way these are made, I'll flip it over to the other side too and show you how they're made. In here is just a little book, just a tiny little book for taking quick notes and it has a few little, um, other things in it, um, how to pack a backpack, and <laughs> things like um, how to set up a tent, and how to use your pocket knife. Um, there's some Tim Holtz um, people in here. Um, these bees are actually Artie Mazes as well. So she has those, I believe, in her Facebook group. So you can check that out and um, find those there. These are the, the specimen cards. Like I say there's a um, paper clip on here. I'll just put it down here. These don't open. Um, they, I just made them as a slide. 
and this was kind of a fun technique to do. I just folded a piece of paper, used a tab punch on the fold, did not cut the fold, and then flipped it over to make the specimen envelope. Artie Mays also, Andrea has this amazing video on how she did hers. Um, and there, you can do so many different things. This, I just happened to use a die cut to cut out this square and then use the acetate behind it. You can use punches, and if you have a square punch, you can use a, a, a square punch, but um, I didn't have that at the time, so that, that didn't happen for me. I had to be a little inventive with the, uh, with the square die cut. Um, yeah, anyway, anyway. If you want to know more about that, oh, I'm happy to tell you. Just ask me. So yeah, so each little one has a different bug in it. You can write on the inside of that, on the back of it. Um, yeah, let's see. I should have shown you that too. So you could write more on the back, you know, just the specimen or um, or even on the inside. You could take this little, this is just a piece of uh file folder that I stuck on there um, when I stuck the bug on there. It could pop off, you could cover it, you know, and just do different things with uh, different types of bugs. Bugs, lots of bugs. So that's that on this. Um, I hope that that did inspire you to do one. They are a challenge, let me tell you. I've, like I say, I've done a few and um, you really, really, oh, Nick the Booksmith, she did some. Man, she's an expert. Check out Nick the Booksmith on how to do these. She's great. So then that brings us to these, which were, like I say, supposed to be the signature, but did not work out that way. Um, and I will tell you why on that. You get to um, learn all of my mistakes. So they've ended up being really thick and really chunky, but really sturdy because of the way I did them. This material that is on the outside, create, they created little books rather than individual signatures to go in the journal. This is that same, you can kind of hear it, um, that same Tyvac material that I inked and um, splattered and gessoed. Actually, it did not gesso on these. Yes, it did, maybe, maybe, maybe underneath. I can't remember, actually. Um, but uh, matte, matte medium over the top um, to make it a little more durable. And then all these shiny bits on all these fussy cutting, I used, oh goodness, what's that stuff called? I'll think of it in a minute. But it's that glue, um, oh, for the love of Pete, I cannot remember. Um, but also used Tim Holtz um, embossing powder, those really cool distress ones. There's quite a bit of that in there, and if I didn't get as much of a shine as I wanted, which I really didn't need, but I used that other um, glossy accents. That's it, glossy accents. It came to me. I used that. So anyway, you'll see some book pages in the back, um, packing paper, some book pages with that have I've jelly printed. I used quite a bit of that in here, and that they're just these. Just some, these are in a blue scheme, teal scheme, um, but they're just jelly print, regular old tea dyed paper that has been jelly printed and used in here. Here's one that is just a, a book page. Lots of, lots of gold on that one, huh? Anyway, so there's that. So this is a butterfly journal. Oh yeah, and some stamping. They're the Tim Holtz um, stamps. <sighs> some fabrics. I can't think of anything else, but you'll you'll know. You'll know. I use file file folders for a lot of bits and pieces and parts. This is also pa ba pa pa packing paper on the back of the of the um, cover. And oh, and then this little design right here, where it is. I don't know if you can see that little cut out there and reinforcement on the top and the bottom folded over here and kind of kind of made that tight that is just for it's for 
if you were going to, I, I like to do this. I don't know that I, I haven't seen anyone else do this, but when you put the eyelets in here and the elastic in the, if you're going to do that with your spine, that gives this a little more strength here um, so that they're not tearing or getting, you know, caught in there. So it's just that. And I did that on all of them. And these could go in that little book that I just showed you. You know, one or two at a time if you want to double protect them. Anyway, you'll find in here just a whole lot of tags with a whole lot of bugs and butterflies. And on the tags, they, like I say, there's stamps. The um, file folder material was gessoed, um, inked, stained, splattered, and stamped. And then tea dyed paper on the back of each one. And I won't flip every single one over. Um, some of them have stitching, some of them have um, fabric, some of them have, um, you know, this crazy um, eyelash trim. It's a real crinkly one. Um, book pages, whatever is on there. So that's pretty consistent throughout. So I will just, for the sake of the this not being, you know, an hour long, um, you'll see that there are, um, there's stenciling in here on these tea dyed pages. There's um, tons of, tons and tons and tons of journaling cards giving extra space. Like I say, I won't show every, oh, that's out of, out of, frame. I won't show every single one. Not every single one. Just little pockets. I did make, and I can show you somewhere. Somewhere I'll find that. Um, yes, these pockets. I just, I made these. <clears throat> uh, I just did a, um, oh my goodness, a collage, a collage sheet, a big collage sheet. And then I um, photocopied it and use that for my pockets. And, and it's on a, a little heavier material. It's not much scrapbook paper in here. So more butterflies, more pockets, 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 pockets. Some of the tags are just little square journaling tags. I like these journaling tags. I like to put quite a few of them in the journals that I make because I find that people use them for uh, maybe to give a card. Like, I'll just drop one off to my neighbor. Hello, thank you, how are you doing? Have a wonderful day. And they're just kind of fun and a little special. And this one is another one of Artie Mesa's tags and it says, nature does not hurry, yet yeah, everything is accomplished. And I love that. Um, some stamping on the back, some uh, stenciling, again, same old, same old, nothing earth shattering here. A pocket there. A, um, oh, these are out of here. Oh, that's okay. Oh, goodness. I'm going to move these back so they can stay kind of in the frame better. There, they're like that. Is that, is that better? I hope that's better. Maybe I should be a little, zoom a little bit more. I don't know. Not so great at this. Anyway, there's a pocket here. This is just an altered envelope. A pocket right there, which I'm struggling to put that in there. Some tags right here that go in here, like this, and then one right behind. And then the tabs on the side. Some um, ledger paper. There is some line paper in here. Um, just some more pockets. Um, just a glassine bag that's kind of been distressed with some little journaling cards in there. <clears throat> and sorry, I'm, I'm, my throat is kind of rough. It's cold here, so when I'm walking, I, I get it gets kind of cold. Another journaling journaling card. It, it gets it gets to my throat. Okay, so that's a butterfly one, and then the bee one again, much the same, same process on the cover. Uh, same type of materials all the way around. This one just happens to have a pocket on the front and then a tiny little card right here with a, with a B on it. So this is, uh, I, this is Artie Mays, I'm pretty sure, pretty, pretty sure. It's also the same deal. 
These are Artie Mays. These are some, <laughs> here's one of those mistakes. My printer sometimes just goes, <sighs> if I want to print something, it prints this giant thing or it prints this teeny tiny thing. I don't have that software to really manipulate images. So if I don't download them properly, they're gonna be whatever they're gonna be. And that's what this ended up to be, this giant bee. So I just fussy cut it out and made a pocket of it. And I'm pretty sure that was Artie Mays. So the bees have um, more tags and they just slip right in there. The bee journal, more tags, 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 tags. Journaling cards, um, little pockets here, little bug on there. You see, I hope the light is okay that you can see these things. I don't wanna do this video over again. I just don't. More journaling tags, little pockets here and there. Bees going in different directions. Tags in the back, what bees do. Um, oh, these are adorable stories. You'll also see, I think, I, I can't remember if it's in the dragonfly story, but these are from Enos B. Comstock from 1922. And they're just short, cute little stories um, <clears throat> about kind of life lessons, really. <laughs> so they're fun. You can look for those and you can use them and um, um, digitally print them on your pages. So anyway, they're copyright free also. Um, some more journaling tags in here. Um, just bees and bees and honey and another journaling tag here. More stenciling on the back. There we go, not too, nothing earth shattering, like I say. Um, tags here, more bees. Um, a little envelope here. Hopefully you can see that. A little pocket in front that had that little tab that this slipped it down in, and then this folds out for more journaling space. It's like that. That's that. Same, same, a story about a busy bee out of a children's book, actually. Um, some more tags, a little glassine envelope with some extra bugs to stick in here. Like I say, his, <clears throat> excuse me, his journal has all the little bits in it, and I just didn't put that many in this one. Um, so this one is the same thing that I had on that other envelope. It's two little bees with their heads together thinking, and then it says, be still and listen, the earth is singing. That's another Artie Mays. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. You're the best, the best, the best. Um, yeah, nothing else there but a little tag. Same here, pages, more tags in these pockets here. That little guy, the little one up here, makes them kind of fun. Even if you get rid of the tags, um, you know, give them all away. You have a place to tuck a note or, um, you know, something that you just want to work on later. Something, something, they're for something. And then that is that. Oh, <clears throat> in the back of the B one, <laughs> this was an Artie Mays. This was one of her specimen cards from I think a back a while. I think it's been a while. Um, but I just printed it out and made a little book, and it tucks back in here. Like that. So that's that one. That's bees done. Bees are done. Bees are done. Butterflies are done. Beetles. Same thing on this, a little bit of slow stitch. I ended up not doing much slow stitch in this one. I did more in the other journal, but um, but yeah, not a whole lot in, in this one. I tried it, liked it, and then continued doing it. These are some, <clears throat> excuse me, some journal tags or little printables from, um, I think it's a homeschool site. They're really cute with the Latin name on them. Oops, journaling card here. Tina paper on the back. This is bugging the heck out of me being in my way. Okay. Same here, nothing earth shattering. 
some little tags. Here's a, a rhinoceros beetle. It has a little horn there. I don't know if you can see it. I, it cracks me up. And just a cute little um, beetle there too. Um, another beetle just fussed up a little bit. I hope this is never very good at getting things to really focus. But this does have a little music page on it, little little note. Um, here we go. This one is kind of fun. Look at this creepy bug. Sorry, I'm probably boring you with all these creepy bugs. But it was fun putting this um, eyelash trim around this creepy bug. I don't even know what it is, but it, it cracks me up. Creepy. Creepy bug. I really hope I never have to see a live bug like that ever, ever. This was kind of designed more as a postcard. Um, the other one was larger. I cut this one down um, uh, because I wanted to. Because I wanted to. The other one was more of a in his book. Oh yeah, it, it's the grasshopper one that didn't print. It might have printed. Is this focusing? I can't tell from where I am. Anyway, this one, <laughs> it didn't digitally print on the page or I misplaced the page. Didn't realize it until I had it sewn together. So I printed out another one, which, I mean, another, the rest of the story, the rest of the story, um, which is even in a different font. <laughs> oh, well, you know, anything goes. You can do whatever you want in a junk journal, and I love that. So this one is The Lazy Grasshopper by Enos B. Comstock, 19. 22 and again I hope that's not too bright and it's focusing okay more stenciling on the inside just bugs 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 tags <clears throat> this one's a little cute little ant little ant goes in this specimen pocket I got, get in there oh it's because I have this paper clip here here we'll just set that over there and then this slides open, another ant, and out of here is a tiny little book, itty bitty little book that goes in there. I, I like to put little uh, surprises in my journals, things like that. You're like, what the heck is that? What is that? Oh, that's fun. How adorable, how adorable. I don't wanna munge that, so, but I'll put the paper clip back on it later. That's all right. Oh, another glassine bag, just a square one. I really kind of went overboard with these specimens, <laughs> stamps <laughs> and pockets. Uh, not so many in the other journal, but in this one, again, just like so many. More little bugs, tiny pockets, green bugs. Um, beetles. Um, that's not really a beetle. I have no idea what that is, but oh, how awful is that, huh? Blurry. Oh, look at this big old long antenna. I, oh. yeah, I don't think I'll do another bug journal right away. Okay, we're really, really getting into like almost over 30 minutes here. Uh, glassine bag to use later as for collaging or stuffing stuff in. <clears throat> Excuse me. More tags in this little pocket. I mean, yeah, bugs that you can go everywhere. Shoot. Yeah, just send them off to your friends. <laughs> back pocket more bugs more of those journaling cards another journaling card here and that's the Beatles the Beatles not as musicians but Beatles and then there's dragonflies and this again is the same deal same material on the outside um, same same just in a different way everything's same same I don't know what that is and more tags same tea dye, oops, sorry, tea dyed on the back. Eyelash trim, this one to put little pearls on. Uh, more st um, stamps, journaling cards. These um, you can find, gosh, online. They're free, um, copyright free, um, and you can download them. Well, I, and I'm not an expert on that, as you well know. Not an expert, can't do it. It um, does crazy things for us, for me. This is the Careless Dragonfly <laughs> by Enos B. Comstock, 1922. Adorable, adorable story. This is a cutout. Um, it's a Tim Holtz die cut. 
I did not get this until the very end of my journals. I don't have a lot of places to shop or get things locally. So things I really have to get online, but I'm a little stubborn and I like to see things and touch things. And so I get nervous about ordering things online and didn't. And then I got this in the end. And it, they're very cool, lots of cool bugs in that dye pack. Um, but they are pretty fussy. You have to stick all these little bits and pieces together. And so, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll use that again. Uh, too, a little too much. Although, it was, this was a lot of fussy cutting. Each little individual <laughs> dragonfly and bug, cutting those all out. But shoot, you can do that just if you're sitting and watching a game or a, or a show or something. Or just visiting. More pockets. Some gauze on this one, give it a little more. Might have a little much, might be a little much. I've done that. That's that. This one, this was one of the first ones I did and then I realized, oh yeah, Julie, a little too much gold and glitter on this one. You may not be able to see that in here, but um, this um, jelly printing has a lot, paper has a lot of shine on it and I did some stitching and I went, yeah, this is not super boyish. It was not too bad, but anyway, so I kind of went away from that in the rest of the journal. Um, but I did these in the beginning. And there is a praying mantis. He was fussy cut out of a children's um, book and then just, just embellished the little postcard. That's that. A few um, tags in here. This is a glassine pocket, an extra dragonfly just because. These were some children's printouts and I only put these in. I didn't put them in the other album just because of the colors. See the blues, the pinks. They're absolutely adorable. These little bugs are so cute. They're not creepy or anything, but anyway, they're a little young for an entomology journal. So that is that. Thank you so, so much for watching and hanging with me. And again, if you fast forwarded, no big deal. Doesn't bother me. Um, you don't have to listen to all my chat, chit chat. And probably after like the first one, you got the idea. Um, and hopefully this inspires you to create um, a lap journal and not make the mistakes that I did. Um, I want to thank you for watching and hopefully I will um, come back and do some other um, just simple maybe craft with me's not necessarily tutorials because there are so many wonderful ladies out there doing tutorials. Oh my goodness. Um, check out Louise Hen Henzel. Louise? Louise Henzel, I think it is. Um, Gail Ask. I can never say her last name either. Stupid West Coast girl can't say these things. Um, who am I forgetting? Artie Mays, of course. Um, oh, goodness. Uh, Treasure Books. Wendy. Tracy Fox. Oh, my gosh. There's so many wonderful. Nick the Booksmith. There's just so many. These ladies really, really know their stuff. And they're super. I'm just trying to see if I can not get the glare off that and my other... Hopefully, if I do this again, I won't have this kind of glare. Anyway, God bless you. Thanks for hanging with me. Have a wonderful day or week, and I'll see you next time.